Welcome back guys, so in this video I will be showing you how to install a custom GPU driver on a handheld PC that has Ryzen Z1 Extreme processor which is just a modified version of Phoenix based Ryzen 7840U processor that comes with Radeon 780M GPU We will be showing you the setup process on my ROG Ally that has Z1 Extreme processor The setup process is exactly the same for Lenovo Legion Go as it comes with Z1 Extreme processor as well the official Asus GPU driver for Ally is actually based on the driver released by AMD. AMD's driver gets released first. Asus customizes it and then releases it for ROG Ally after a few months. Only switch to a custom GPU driver if you have any specific use of it. For example, a new game not working on the older GPU drivers. Or if you want to try out a new feature like the driver level implementation of Fluid Motion Frames. In this video, I'll be installing this custom GPU driver. Custom drivers will affect the operating modes of Ally as they were customized by Asus itself. GPU clock speed can change. Should not be a problem if you are using a manual power profile. In some games, you will observe a performance improvement while in others, there can be a performance regression as well. Good thing is that it's very easy to roll back to the official Asus GPU drivers anytime we want. I will show you that process as well. This is the current version of official Asus GPU driver that I am using on my ROG Ally. It was released in October 2023. Alan Wake Part 2 does not work on this driver. It just gets stuck at the loading screen. Infinite loading. Before directly downloading the preview driver from here, I will show you how to manually search for the latest custom GPU driver. Head to AMD's website. I will give its link in the description. Here select processors with graphics. Select AMD Ryzen processors. Then select AMD Ryzen 7 processors with Radeon graphics. Here you need to select AMD Ryzen 7 7840U. Click on submit. Scroll down. Now click on plus icon next to Windows 11 64 bit edition. Click on download under AMD software editor in edition. This will download the latest WHQL stable GPU driver, but I am not going to install it. I will be installing this preview driver. It adds a driver level fluid motion frame support to Radeon 700M series GPUs. And just click on this link, AMD software add-in edition. This driver should work with Lenovo Legion Go as well. There are a few things that you need to know about fluid motion frames. It boosts in-game FPS with frame generation technology, but it's not exactly the same as FSR frame generation. AFMF has a wider compatibility. It works with DirectX 11 and 12 games on Radeon 700M, RX 6000 and RX 7000 series GPUs. AFMF preserves image quality by dynamically disabling frame generation during fast visual motion. I am pretty sure this does not happen with FSR frame generation. AFMF can be enabled from Adrenaline's control panel. It can introduce additional latency if the game's base FPS is less than 60. To counter the additional latency, AMD recommends enabling Radeon Anti-Lag technology from the control panel. AFMF can be enabled on the fly using this hotkey, Alt plus Shift plus G keys. This technology currently requires the game to be played in full screen mode with B-Sync disabled. To monitor the FPS with AFMF enabled, AMD recommends using Adrenaline's performance matrix overlay. You should not be using any third party overlay. For example, Afterburner overlay or Army creates own performance overlay. It can crash the frame generation feature. Open File Explorer. Click on Downloads here. Look for the preview driver. There it is. Now before launching its setup, we need to delete one folder. Click on this PC. Open C drive. Delete this AMD folder. Do not worry, it's not going to break your system. It basically contains the setup file for your previous GPU driver. If this folder is not present on your ROG Ally, you can skip this step. This folder will be created again. When we launch the setup of any GPU driver, hey, just click on continue. Permission is required. There you go. Go back to downloads. Run the preview driver. Double click. Initializing the installation. An error will pop up. It's expected. GPU driver files are being extracted in the background. There you go. Something went wrong. Error 182. Just click on close here. Click on this PC. Open C drive. Now check the AMD folder, yeah there it is. You can close the file explorer now. Click on the windows icon and type device. We need to open device manager, there it is. This window will open up, maximize it. Expand display adapters, right click on AMD Radeon graphics. Click on update driver. Click on browse my computer for drivers. Then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Then click on have this. 
then click on browse open c drive open amd folder this is where the set of files of the preview drive are present open amd software installer folder open packages folder open drivers folder open display folder then open this folder wt6a underscore inf here you just need to look for this inf file its name will start with the alphabet u followed by some numbers these numbers will vary depending on the version of the driver in my case the numbers are 0399217 select open click on ok a list of gpus will load up here just scroll all the way up to the top scroll down a bit now until you find amd radian tm 780m graphics this one now click on next yes during the installation process display will flicker like this installation complete name of the gpu amd radian 780m close restart rock li We are in. The latest GPU driver is not compatible with the older version of AMD software. This error will pop up. So first you need to uninstall AMD software. Just click on the Windows icon here and type in remove. Click on add or remove programs. Just click on the three dots next to AMD software. Then click on uninstall. Start the process. Uninstall. Now open file explorer go to c drive open amd folder open amd software installer folder open packages folder open drivers folder open display folder open this folder wt6-inf here you need to look for this folder whose name starts with the alphabet b followed by some numbers these numbers can be different in your case if you install a different version of the driver okay in this directory you need to Look for a file name triple c2 underscore install dot exe. Execute it. Install has started. Wait for the process to complete. We are done. Click on close. Restart LI. Now right click anywhere on your desktop. There's AMD software adrenaline edition. Click it. Should launch. Initial setup screen. Just click on skip this. Version of the preview driver. It was released on 3rd January 2024. Just click on the notification bell icon here. Click on performance metrics setup required. Click on enable. Windows cannot find. Not sure what this is. Make sure you type the name correctly and then try again. Due to this problem, FPS counter will not show up in Adrenaline's performance overlay. May not happen in your case. Click on overlay. Enable this toggle for enable metrics overlay. There's the overlay and you can see FPS shows up as not available. Performance metric setup failed. I'm not sure why. The hotkey to enable performance overlays control shift plus O. I'll just disable it for the time being. Click on gaming here. At the moment, AFMF can add a performance overhead to a game, thereby reducing its performance. So it's recommended to enable it on a per game basis only. Just go to the gaming section in Adrenaline. Click on games. Your game library will load up. I'll test it with Cyberpunk 2077. Select the game. Enable RSA. There's AMD Fruit Motion Frames. Enable. Anti lag setting enabled as well. VSync disabled. Launch the game from here. AFMF status should show up in Adrenaline Overlay. There you go. AFMF enabled. Anti lag enabled as well. RSA upscaling the resolution for 720p to full HD. Video settings in game VSync disabled. Display mode set to full screen, resolution set to 720p. I am basically using the low preset, not using any in game upscaler. We are in, I am standing right outside V's apartment building. I have enabled adrenaline performance overlay. Unfortunately, its FPS counter is not working. FPS count is just shown as not available. I have no idea whether AFM is working or not. We'll be testing this feature in detail in some other video. I'll just show you Adrenaline Overlay. We'll be checking the status of frame generation. 
Yeah, it's active. Disable it from here. Disable. Can't tell the difference. Let's close it. Last but not least, we have Alan Wake Part 2. In order to get this game working on ROG Ally, you need to set the UMA buffer size to auto. I'll quickly launch it. This message will pop up the amount of video memory in the system does not meet the minimum specification of 6 GB. Just ignore it. Click on OK. Game should start. Not using RSA for this game. This game is very demanding on the GPU. We'll be testing it in detail in some other video. I'll keep it short here. Display resolution full HD. FSR 2 set to performance. In-game VSync disabled. I'm basically using the low preset. Start it. This is where the game used to get stuck with the older GPU drivers. Continue. We are in. Finally, LM make part 2 running on ROG Ally. All thanks to the custom GPU driver. This game should be compatible with Ally again uh, with the next official Asus GPU driver update. Now I'll show you the process of uninstalling the custom GPU drivers and reinstalling the official Asus GPU drivers. First, we need to download the official driver. Just open My Asus application. Already open. Click on System Update. Click on Latest. Uncheck this setting. Show the latest version updates available. A new BIOS update for ROG Ally showed up today. Version 3.3.6. I've already installed it on my system. Here, just scroll down until you find Graphics. From here you can download the latest version of the official GPU driver. Its version is shown here. Click on the download icon. Specify the directory where you want to download the driver. I'll just download it in the downloads directory. OK. Wait for the process to complete. Download complete. Just click on the folder icon here. There's a GPU driver. You can download it from Asus website as well. Lenovo Legion Go users can download it from Lenovo's website. Now I'll be using a tool called DDU to remove the preview drivers. Need to download it. Just head to this website. I'll give its link in the description. Click on download using the USA mirror. Size is 2 MB. Download complete. There's the archive file. Need to extract it. Just right click on it. Click on extract all. Click on extract. This folder will open up. Execute the exe file. Another extraction process, click on extract. There's the folder that we need, open it. We need to execute display driver uninstaller.exe file in Windows safe mode. Before starting your PC in safe mode, you need to disable encryption on it. You can enable it again after the installation of GPU drivers. So just click on the Windows icon here, type encryption. Click on device encryption settings. Set this toggle to off next to device encryption. It can take some time depending on the amount of data on your PC. Now click on Windows icon. Click on settings. Click on system. Scroll down until you find recovery. Click on it. Click on restart now next to advanced setup. Restart now. From here onwards, it's recommended to connect a dock to your ROG Ally or Legion Go. I'll be using a USB based mouse and keyboard to navigate through the interface. The USB dongles have been connected to the dock. Okay, so here select troubleshoot, click on advanced options, then click on startup settings, then click on restart. Advanced boot options will show up. From here, you just need to select safe mode, enter, and we are in. Safe mode is mentioned here. And just increase the display scale. Everything is looking so tiny. Much better. Open File Explorer, go to Downloads, open DDU folder, need to execute the DDU uninstaller, open this folder, there's the uninstaller, execute it, click on this drop down bar, select device type, from here select GPU, AMD should show up, now you just need to click on clean and restart, highly recommended, wait for the process to complete, your PC will restart automatically once the process is complete, there you go. Our PC started normally, it's not in safe mode. Just open File Explorer, need to install the official driver. Go to Downloads, there's the official driver, execute it. Don't need to be in safe mode to install the official driver. Select the language English. Next, next, click on Install, next, next, install, as simple as that. 
डिस्प्ले विल फ्लिकर इट्स नॉर्मल डू नॉट वरी नीड टू रिस्टार्ट एल एक्ट डाउनलोड फोल्डर वॉज ओपन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन रिस्टार्ट एनी वे पी सी रिस्टार्ट एड एन यू प्रेस द राइट क्लिक एनी वे ऑन योर डेस्कटॉप यू वॉन्ट सी द ऑप्शन फॉर एडर्नल इन सॉफ्टवेयर जस्ट ओपन विंडो स्टॉप क्लिक ऑन लाइब्रेरी दे एज ए एम डी रेडियन सॉफ्टवेयर क्लिक ऑन ओपन डोंट नीड टू इंस्टॉल इट सेपरेटली इट स्टार्ट इट क्लिक ऑन स्किप दिस यू कैन कन्फिगर इट हाउ वे यू वॉन्ट रिलीज वर्जन ऑक्टोबर टू AFM F is gone that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day